Greetings to you and your compadres. Viva la revolution! Viva! Let me get this straight. You want us to join your revolution? That is correct, compadre. You are the reinforcements we need to take on Jeremy and the cadets. Until victory. Always. Ernesto? Yes, my chichi? Who exactly are you? I was Jeremy's deputy and best friend until the day of the disappearance. Jeremy became obsessed with keeping everything the same as it was before. He tried to do the right thing, but instead did many wrong things. Things so cruel, it will inflame your heart and inspire you to rise uh, up. Just the facts, Ernest. It's Ernesto. Ernesto! Come on. I mean, did you not wonder how boys at that school lived like little princes, hmm? Because other children are their slaves and servants. I tried to change the rules from the inside, but there was no reasoning with Jeremy. Just because the adults are gone doesn't mean you could do anything you want. Are you listening? No. It is impossible. I had to leave, knowing one day I would return. I took four simpatico prefects with me, and since then we have been sleeping under the stars and living from the land, managing as best we can in a harsh climate. When was this? Uh, last Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs> no matter. The day of the revolution has come thanks to your arrival. My war is your war. If you wish to free Jordan, you must fight alongside me. Hang on. Free Jordan? Our double agent picked Jordan out to stay at the school so the rest of you will be forced to rescue him. And fight alongside you? We've been stitched up. And, uh, who is this double agent? I believe he is known to you. Jeremy thinks he is his right-hand man, but Callum has the heart of a rebel. Callum? We recruited Callum when we caught him stealing from us, persuaded him to the cause and sent him to sign up more boys. Callum knew he couldn't just ask you. He said you wouldn't trust him. Yeah, too right. I wouldn't. So you and Callum set this whole thing up between you? And put Jordan in danger. That's very sneaky. So you blackmailed us into helping you, both you and Callum. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Ernesto, you should have asked us. Not Callum, you. You are right, my Chi-Chi. I have not acted in the noble ways of the revolutionary. I am sorry. We will fight the good fight alone. I'm getting a message. Shipment's about to leave. Jeremy is shipping out the unsuitables. Children deemed so useless. Even the laundry is too good for them. They'll be dumped like dogs. Dumped like dogs? Yeah, it's working. Let's storm the barricades. Everything's under control, Father. Everything's under control and in order. Today is the day we free the oppressed. Says who? We're going into battle with a bunch of dropouts on the order of Callum. Why are we helping them? Because of Jordan. And because even though Ernesto set us up, he's still trying to do the right thing by those kids in that school. If something's wrong, you can't just stand back and let the others sort it out. Spoken like a true revolutionary. Approaching the gates. OK, Callum, we're ready. Quick! To victory! Away! Victory! Yeah, come on. Show me your moves. I can do a spin. Come on, guys. Let's help. Oh, wait. Keep still. We've won the Battle of the Gates. Now, we must storm the school. Good padre! Block all the doors. It's a lockdown. All guards to the front entrance. Show yourselves!
Jeremy, you must stand aside and allow a democratically elected body of pupils to run the school. Answer me! Why should anything change? Look, there are no protesters. Everything is calm. You've locked them up like animals. You're a troublemaker, Ernesto. What have you ever done except walk away? It's easy to spout all this stuff about freedom and democracy. But it's harder to stick at things and work hard. Maintain standards. <gasps> Round up the rebels and the traitors. Escort them off the premises. Dump them, you mean? I'm worth more alive to you than dead. Be quiet. Listen to John. John is Jeremy's brother. He hasn't spoken a word since the disappearance. Terrible shock. I'm unsuitable too. Why didn't you load me onto your stupid truck and dump me? Come on then. Dare you? Yeah, take it. Your help was much appreciated.